Uh, everyone sit down, all right? Sit down. It's time to talk, all right? We're talking. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do this lesson, all right? You, you better sit down. This is a certified anabolic apparel classic. Legalize anabolic steroids. Okay, so as you can see from the title of the video, it's my first day on the job as a flight attendant, and uh, it's actually just a prank, bro. Uh, I'm not gonna be actually be a flight attendant. I'm gonna watch this uh, Vice uh, video of a flight attendant who's re uh, who's revealing the dark secrets of the job, because apparently uh, being being a, fly a flight attendant has like some dark, you know, scary stories. I guess I don't know. Let's watch this video, shall we? I've been a flight attendant for six years. Did I ask? Did I ask? It's a hypersexualized and glorified job. Okay, so off the fucking rip, you're just gonna shit on the job like that? Like, how is being a flight attendant such a sexualized job? I don't understand. Okay, but. Because of the intense pressure of trying to confirm to the beauty standards of these airlines. There's beauty standards to airline. Beauty requirements to be a flight attendant? Has no one ever seen like an ugly flight attendant before? Like, so like, is every single flight attendant in existence right now are all just nine out of tens or something? Like, what is going on? A lot of flight attendants would resort to plastic surgery what it's not that serious what so like you just handing out dasani waters and peanuts to people you have to get plastic surgery what the fuck some of them would utilize drugs such as heroin cocaine meth or ice to keep the weight down I'm sorry, listen, that's not funny. Look, that's not funny. Doing method or ice or, or uh, whatever the fuck it's called to keep your weight down, that's not funny, okay? At all, it's not. But what the hell is going on with these flight attendants, man? Like, this is crazy. It's dark wool. You are supposed to fend for yourself. You're being prostituted to serve powerful figures. How? I don't I don't get this, bro. How? Like, is this what actually happens uh, outside of the plane or something? This passenger requested one of my colleagues to accompany him for dinner. Oh, it might. You know what? Uh, like, uh, she might be talking about like like maybe private jet attendants or some shit. You know, like for like the mega rich people. Like, I can see where like uh, this is happening. And the next thing, two of his bodyguards were outside of her hotel room to take her to see him. You just have to agree in order for you to still have your job. But like having money and power, like it could really just go 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 to your mind because me doing that just sounds absolutely insane. This man, so uh, he just walks up to her and be like, hey baby girl, I want you to come out to dinner with me, with me and my friends right here. And then so I send two of my bodyguards to go pick her up. From, what the fuck is, what, what is this? I started flying in 2012 dude in 2012 i was playing black ops 2 do you guys remember black ops 2 because i remember black ops 2 with a full service carrier based in asia i wanted to be a flight attendant because i thought it would be great to have a job that allows you to travel oh man great job oh boy and then like you get you are always trying to avoid incidents on board. You do have to be aware of how intoxicated your passengers are. On one of the flights... Yo, getting drunk on a flight is absolutely insane. Passenger started masturbating while watching porn. Uh, it's giving Ric Flair vibes, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the plane ride from hell. Eventually, he started taking his clothes off and ended up urinating. Yep some Ric Flair shit himself and that's when the crew members decided that they need to restrain him they did try to clean him up and put his clothes back on but he already soiled himself like what kind of mental state do you have to be to do some shit like that on a on like a plane what is Your wrong with you seniors would tell you just squeeze a few eye drops into passengers drink when they become too intoxicated and they refuse to stop drinking i've seen this wait why would you put eye drops in their drink i don't understand what happen a few times and the passengers always go to sleep after that oh 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 okay drinking eye drops puts you to sleep or something it's that's not good it's very common to catch people having sex on board Again, the insanity of these people. Having sex on an airplane is the definition of insanity. And like, it's actually kind of like weird because people actually do probably get off on that type of... And yeah. it's always an awkward conversation when you know that they're definitely having sex and you are there to stop them from doing it. I would, I'd like, I would just let them. I wouldn't even bother them, to be honest with you. I'm like, I'm be honest with you. I've a couple on the last row having sex. Why? They weren't exactly quiet. 
while doing it. Okay, yeah, no, nah, it was just okay. I was stunned at first, so I went and off. Dude, do you do you not hear this banging, bro? It's been going on all morning. Stop it! One of the most memorable experiences I had was having a passenger that tried to smuggle guns. The enforcement officer had to come on board and arrest the passenger. He was a gang member from a neighboring country and he was on the run. This man tried to smuggle two guns. Both of the guns were fully loaded. Okay, so she may be or uh, maybe not be talking about uh, pr private jets because I think now she's talking about being on like an actual airline plane and it's like uh, clearly this has to be like a Euro european thing just based off her accent so i mean uh, doing that like in america he wouldn't have even gotten past tsa how do you even do that like how do you like how do you like dude i was born in 2002 after 9 11 how do you smuggle two guns on a plane once this passenger was upset that she wasn't seated next to her boyfriend and when we try to explain that it isn't part of our job to make sure that you get to be seated together, she kind of like she just went ballistic. Yeah, see, that's why you, you don't uh, travel with women. Or like, if you do, you have them under your control, basically. I, uh, I'm just saying, because you wild and out here like on a plane, you're never going to hear from me again. I'm just saying, like, you, like, just no, you, you embarrassing me in public. It, no, we're done. Like, what the fuck? And she threw hot instant noodle to one of the crew members face it's just a mental illness out here man it, she was superficially burned and then she, she was superficially burned it, uh, okay and the boyfriend actually came over and started threatening to blow up the plane yeah now you two definitely need to be together in a prison cell and try to punch another crew member. Some captains would be power tripping. The captain tried to get me to sleep with him. Like, how the fuck? Like, dude, just because you're flying this shit, it doesn't mean that you, like, are, like, the top dog of the world, nigga. I was, like, he asked if I would fancy some private time with him, and which I refused. Uh, went up to my room, and the next thing I know, he was knocking on my hotel room door. I got scared. You see, bro, this is why your dick can get you in trouble. Watch yourself. I just pretend as if I'm not in the room. The next day, he will make your entire trip hell just because you refuse him. I'm about to just say, like, what if he just threatens to crash that bitch the next morning? <laughs> Always hiring their cabin crews to be the face of the airline itself. You have a specific look. You have to look slender, slim. Every two years, you'll be issued the same uniform, the same size. Yeah, now, nah, see, look, bro, this, this doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what doesn't matter what the flight attendants look like? It doesn't matter what they look like. Just give me my peanuts and my eight-ounce Sprite already, okay? You are expected. I don't give a fuck what you look like. I'm trying to get somewhere. Yeah, so we already saw this one at like the intro. They would, yeah, so they would go through hell just to ma maintain their appearance for some reason, even though that, all, that uh, literally all I have to do, uh, even though that me as a man, all I have to do is just wash my face with the same bar of soap that I wash my ass with and just go to the gym six times a week. That's all that I have to do. So, man, I guess you ladies do kind of have it hard, right? Anyways, um, I am hard. No, I'm not. Wait, I do not plan to be a, a flight attendant because that's kind of a female's job and... Uh, I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not like a female or, uh, anything, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's really just not the, uh, uh, the, uh, profession for me, you know what I'm saying? So, hey man, if you see me in the street, say, hey, what's up, hello, um, I forgot the, the rest of the, the uh, lyrics to that song, but if you know the song, go ahead and just copy and paste that, the, uh, lyrics in the comments for me, alright?